Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, Tyler Beast here. Welcome to another Stanley Cup Playoffs. We're all sweat switched up and ready to go as we're ready to see our next game between. It's the Tampa Bay Bolts of the Lightning facing against the New York Rangers. The last time that happened already, this was like a great score in between for the Rangers and the Bolts. They're doing a lot harder than they did. But it's great enough that they have a lot of courtesy to make a step along the way. As they've already been playing it so long. First period got into a brutal start for the Bolts and the Rangers. Then it was the Bolts that tried to take over the spot in second period. But then, everything has changed as the New York Rangers have that one coming in back. They just took it all as they can. And then, in overtime, it was never to be determined to go right for the deal. They have that one win earlier enough in the range. It's going to be happening right away at that point. So, as you may already know, it's going to happen now with the next part of the game. Standing by, I have is James Cerbulski, along with Cheryl and Kandra. We'll be here for the center ice. Now, let's get started. The second and third game is about to start now. And then the final game will be the Stars and the Nashville Predators at American Airlines Center at 9.30. Let's get going, guys. Enjoy. in the playoffs of the season, scored by number 20, Chris Kreider. His first assist is here by number 25, Ryan Lindgren. Time to goal, 2.15 remaining in the first period. That's Chris Kreider with the goal, assisted here by Ryan Lindgren, 2.15. The power play is under review. I know they didn't like the non-goal call, but 
As a review of the play, it's determined that it, that determined that it was a goalie interference. No goal. And he gives it over to Stamkos. The Bucks looking against the hot ball. Stamkos! Tampa Bay goal against Sports Bowl of the playoffs of the game, scored by number 20, Nick Paul. It is consistent here by number 22, Steven Samkos, and by number and by number 69, Victor Redman. Tampa Bay goal of the game is 247 remaining in the first, first period. That's the goal by Nick Paul, assisted here by Steven Samkos and Victor Redman, 247.
feed to Brodzinski. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Puts it on net. Oh, and he has the answer there with a fantastic stop. Gains the zone on the left wing. The Bulls take it along the wall. Toss up the puck after that hit. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. Now he takes it over the line. Sets it up And they'll 
covered up, forcing a stoppage in play. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a tie game. And they're with the offensive zone face off, and here we go. Here it is in front. The Rangers gain control of the puck. New York's got it along the wall. And that's intercepted by Cirilli. The Bulls move the puck in the defensive zone. Referee singling for a delayed penalty. New York penalty, two minutes for slashing. He's going to get the slashing ball. The officials are really trying to crack down on these types of plays because they can be dangerous. He's going to get the two minute minor. New York penalty number 22, two minutes for slashing. Time of penalty, 15 out of 6 remaining. That's two minute penalty for number 22 for slashing. Time of penalty, 15 out of 6 remaining. I'm going to be watching for that. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Tampa Bay's got possession of the puck. Passes over to Kucherov. Quick feed to point. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Good stand up hit on the play. Ahead of steam now towards the front. The Rangers have possession shorthanded. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Well, James, sometimes in a power play, with more time and space, you can get more to sleep. And that's exactly what this has been happening here. Is it's been lackluster, unable to even get a shot on net so far.
not chasing the game, Cheryl. Yeah, it's always better being when you're in front, James. I mean, you know that you have the lead. Tampa Bay goal. His first goal of the playoffs score by number 86, the Kitty Kucherov. His first assist is here by number 38, Danny Reyes. And by number 25, Braden Boyd. Tampa Bay goal, 927 remaining in the second period of the playoffs. That's a goal here by Nick Peter Kucherov. This is here by Danny Reyes and Braden Boyd. 927. Sent into the offensive zone. Tampa Bay's got a hold of the puck now. Slides it diagonally to the center off.
first goal. His first goal of the playoffs scored by number 93, Mika's Badajad. Time to go, 15, 17 remaining in the second period. That is the goal here by Mika's Badajad, 15, 17, unassisted in the second period.
Nice couple Kako with the goal. Assisted here by Adam Fox and Ryan Lugray. 8 16 in the set, early period. Tampa Bay Gold gets first goal of the playoff score by number 12, Alex Darabola. These are just the gear of the end by number 77, Victor Gunman. And by number 10, number 11, Gregory Gladney. Tampa Bay Gold, 915 remaining in the third period. That's Alex Darabola's goal. This is the gear by Victor Gunman and Lester Gladney. 915 in the third. Tampa Bay penalty, two minutes, first slashing, for tripping. Well, it's kind of hard to protect a one goal lead when you're sitting in the box and your team's short-handed, James. Even the penalty for the lead, Tampa Bay halted, holds number 91, for tripping. Tampa Bay penalty, two minutes, three 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 minutes. That's two minutes, three 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 minutes,
He gets with the assistant here by number 10, Artemi Benere. And then by here by number 6, Jacob Tuba. Time to go, 12.50 remaining in the third period. That's Chris Carter with the goal. This is here by Timmy Panarin and Jacob Truba. 12 to the in the third.
before we get into overtime, let's have a look at the period statistics scores in between. And as we get into right now for the last part of the game, as we are in ready for overtime here at the Garden, this is one of the bigger matchups in between right of those two. We've seen a lot of great uh, plays in between for the Lightnings and for the Rangers, as Kucherov has already made that one with the goal. But in that case right now, Chris Kreider made that one with the goal earlier. He was trying to get that one in there, trying to look for another goal if he can get his hat trick in there to win in overtime. But similar cases are not quite that simple enough to get this one over through. You may never notice what is going to change. Because of this point, we may not know what will happen if there is another opportunity range or not. So, we have to find out if there is a goal made or not. Because there's a lot of great takes over here with the shot. They are trying to get that one over it with a lot of unique stops on the game. It was no other way that they could try to like keep that one going in there, and that's what happens now. They are trying to like leave them out, try to get that one here going, and this is what nobody has ever just done before, like it did here once again. But it seems like that they are ready to go in overtime. We're gonna find out who will take this win in the second game. Will it be the Volts? Can they tie this series up, or will the Rangers go back to back again? in a sec two games at the Garden. Let's find out what happens if there's another goal in the range. This overtime of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs is brought to you by Adidas. Now let's get back to James and let's get going. I'll see you all later after the final, after the final score for overtime. Check's won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. 
with 60 saves. Made up one earlier to go with that one. Then the second star goes to Nick Paul with two goals and two gifts. Excellent to take. No Patrick's this time. Only a tie that one taking over. And your first star, Mitchell Chaffee. And that was not going to be able to get there. Chris Kreider earns his first star of the game with two goals and five gifts. Here's how you give it the total statistics. 65 over 64 for the Tampa Bay Bolts. And it was 55 over 48 for the Bolts on the hit. Time on attack was 737 over 734. A lot of great passing percentage. There was a 91.9 New York Rangers and 91.1 for Tampa Bay. 34 baseoff wins over 26 for the New York Rangers. Early kill was Steven. And same thing was a power play too. But both guys never got a power play goal. Only two minutes power play minute was the time. So that was interesting. So the Bolts are ready to go back to Tampa Bay to face against the Rangers in Game 3. Oh so, yep, yeah, they're ready to pack up and ready to get going on the trip. So they'll be out there to do this one again as the series are tied. Last game up, we got the Stars and the Predators as Air at Dallas for the American Airlines Center. I'll see what happens if there's the next one coming in by. And we'll see you all later for the final game of the playoff matchup in a day. And then NBA playoffs will be the next stop here for the first part of the games in between. Title be out of here. So long, everybody. Peace out, folks, for a while. That's the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs of 2024 dial. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.